Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Complete Guide to Local PPC – How to Target for Local Paid Search Scaling and Growing a PPC Campaign is all finding areas for growth in relation to getting the most conversions for every dollar spent. Believe it or not, many successful PPC campaigns waste hundreds and even thousands of dollars on wasted impressions. In other words, they're not ready to effectively scale. This means that even if your campaign is acquiring thousands of impressions every week, your ads could be potentially falling on blind eyes and deaf ears. Looking into every impression you receive is difficult, if not downright impossible. Local businesses, in particular, are more fulfilled when they can convert ad impressions into foot traffic. In paid search, optimizing campaigns to achieve this goal is called local PPC. Local PPC involves a lot of refinement around optimizing your ads for nearby searches to compel viewers to visit a location instead of a website. This is done mainly through geo-targeting. If you're not familiar, local PPC can be a complicated topic. However, like local SEO, local PPC isn't as meticulous when you understand the benefits of geo-targeting. As such, this guide will explain all you need to know about both subjects. What is local PPC? To better understand local PPC, let's provide an example. Let's say that you're at home and want to order takeout for dinner. As you're searching for restaurants online, you come across an ad for one of your favorite local restaurants that has begun to offer delivery. Intrigued with the idea of having your food delivered, you click the ad and immediately place your order. As simple as this example sounds, this is what local PPC is. Even with a tight budget, a defined local PPC strategy can help you get your ads right in front of prospects with strong buyer's intent. With that said, local PPC is a paid search campaign that's designed to target individuals within a specific region. You can run these campaigns on both social media platforms and search engines, primarily through Google and Facebook ads. With local PPC, you only pay when a person clicks on your ad, so you have to be careful about who you're targeting. Wasted conversions on people outside of your scope of service can result in an inflated budget over time. Thus, the benefits of local PPC are operating relevant ads. With a local PPC strategy, your ads will only show up in front of people who are the most interested in your products and services, mainly because you control who your ads target. Ideally, your ads should only target people who can benefit from your business. Since your campaign is local, you won't have to compete with corporate enterprises. This means bidding won't be as intensive, and you can actually stretch your marketing dollars to achieve even more conversions. A successful local PPC campaign will endure less competition, in addition to more impressions and conversions. Improving brand awareness. As a local business, making sure potential customers know you exist is paramount. By running a local PPC campaign, you can improve your brand awareness in your community. Increasing conversions. As online shopping becomes more popular, it's never been more important to run a local PPC campaign. When your ads show up to relevant audiences, they'll be much more likely to convert since you're targeting qualified leads instead of unrefined prospects. Highly trackable. Fortunately, local PPC ads are more measurable than other local marketing techniques, such as flyers and banners. By using these ads, you can more accurately track impressions, clicks, and conversions. Low competition. One of the most frustrating aspects of running a nationwide PPC campaign is measuring up to enterprises with larger budgets. What makes matters worse is that you could be up against a fierce competitor that's receiving help from a top tier digital marketing agency. In local PPC, you'll simply be pitted against other nearby businesses. This means you should know your competitive landscape better. Thus, it's possible to achieve more success running a local PPC campaign compared to a broader one. 
How to set up a local PPC strategy now that you know what local PPC is and why it's important, it's now time to begin putting in the work to create an effective strategy. Here are some proven ways to get started. Make your location specific when you decide to set up your campaign. Make sure that your location is highly specific before moving forward. For example, you should even use your zip code to define your service area. With that said, it's also important to include areas where you don't do business to avoid targeting the wrong prospects. When you include a specific location, your campaign and budget becomes more efficient since your ads won't reach people who can't use your service. Use local phrases with targeted keywords. The phrases you use in your PPC ads should also be highly specific and relevant to the location where you're doing business. For this step, you can use Google Trends to see if people in your area are using Chinese takeout instead of Chinese food near me. Also, make sure to include your service location in your ad. By including your city name in the headline and copy of your ad can disqualify ineligible prospects from clicking on your ad. That way, you can save money by never paying for clicks from someone who'll never convert. Using hyper-local phrases along with targeted keywords is the key to a successful strategy. Always test and optimize running a local PPC campaign makes it simple to immediately test and optimize your ads based on real-time results. It's important to stay vigilant and adapt your ads to changes in its performance, whether positive or negative. During tests, you can perform A-B tests to conduct side-by-side comparisons to different aspects of your ads, such as headlines, copy, and call-to-action CTAs. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.